All right, peace, peace, black family. So the internet is a buzz talking about the recent interview with Trick Daddy Dollars on Drink Champs. But what a lot of people missed is Trick Daddy subconsciously talked about the underlining racism that comes from white Hispanics. Quick little history lesson. In the 1940s and 50s, there was a racist dictator by the name of Batista. He was a hardcore white supremacist. I mean, he had the social system set up based off of racism in Cuba, okay? And he truly believed keeping black Cubans on the bottom was the way that it should be in Cuba. Now, in the late 1950s, you had this gentleman, Fidel Castro, who came to power and said that we would no longer have a open racist social society, but we would have a socialist system. Now, whether he did that or not, or tried to do that or not, is up for debate. But he said openly and publicly, no more racism. And guess what? A lot of white Hispanics begin to flee Cuba. This was the first time, not the Mario boat lift in 1980s, but in 1950s and 60s, where a lot of white Cubans begin to leave Cuba and come to Miami and Florida. Yes, and they left Cuba because they did not want to be equal with the black Cubans. A lot of Cubans I know voted for Trump, yeah, yo. Cubans, yeah. And they screaming Republican, but they want Biden to go to Cuba and do something that he can't do. Right. Wow. Trump won Miami Dade County. With all these foreigners here, yeah, he including my motherfucking self, ain't no way he's supposed to won Dade County. He supposed to lost this shit in the landslide. Right. Landslide. When Trump came to town, when Trump came to town, all my white neighbors that I thought was cool was over there at that rally. See what they I'm was saying? over there. So I was like, wow, when I looked, and hey, it hey, wasn't until hey. George Floyd that, that they took off the, 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 the Trump hat. But all of my white neighbors, because he had a... And, they, and they, they, they took off the Trump hat because they didn't want to seem obvious. Right. And that's what, and that's why a lot of them were mad at Trump. The people that took off their hat, they didn't take off their hat because they, they changed their mind. They like, Trump, you showed the fucking hand. Why did you show the hand? We can't bluff the poker game no more. Right. Why did you show your pair of aces when there's three kings on the board already? That, like, why you let them know how we feel and why we think, why? Shut up. Just calm down. Let them play crazy.